What is up you guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your very first time joining me my name is Jessica I'm a mother as well as a makeup lover of course for today's video I let my kiddo pick my eyeshadow palette and I created a look with it so that is what we have going on today I'm gonna be using two eyeshadow palettes the Nomad Royal Europe palette and the Blend Bunny Stickly Sweet palette I think these palettes are so great for each other they both have what the other is missing, if you know what I mean. So yeah, these are the vibes. I'm going to be doing my eyes as well as my face because the eyes literally took me maybe, the longest part is obviously the blending, probably took me like 15 minutes to do each eye. So it's, that's quick for me. I don't know, I don't know what you guys do, but that's pretty speedy for, for me. Um, and I'm so obsessed. Wait till you guys see the up close of this look, the shimmer that's all over the lid. It's, it's literally like trick of the eye what is that what's the word i'm thinking illusion some something like that it's giving me it's giving me the illusion vibes the trick of the the trick of the light trick of the eye you know what i mean um so yeah so you're gonna definitely want to stay tuned until the very end of the video where i'll do an up close of my eyeshadow for you guys that way you can see the true beauty of the blend and if you're curious about all the other products that i used to create this makeup you're definitely gonna want to keep on watching wait until you guys see the up close of this one because she is a mind blower okay i this this is the one for me i let my oldest he's gonna be eight here soon um i let him kind of pick a couple of my eyeshadow palettes i wanted to see what he would pick now the first one that he picked was the blend bunny sickly sweet palette so i feel like this is a beautiful beautiful companion palette so i was like you know what i'm gonna have him pick a second palette and you know which one he picked is the nomad rail europe palette the thing about this right okay first of all the duochromes in this palette are so insane they are so insane but i feel like the one thing that was missing out of this eyeshadow palette is light like shades tell me why my son is iconic for picking out the pastel palette with the palette that could use some pastels i'm starting by priming my lid with my p louise base and i'm gonna start by taking the nomad real europe palette their packaging is always so unique this one's kind of like it's like cut out i don't i don't know if you if i could like explain that but like it's literally like a cutout. i don't know so cool so so cool I'm going to start by taking the purple shade Buckingham Palace and taking this on a Jessup 227 Luxe brush. And I'm going for kind of like a halo, halo eye shape. So I'm going to just be putting this on the inner and outer corners. I'm just going to kind of smack this color down first and foremost. And then... I'm going to take the shade Hall of Mirrors, which is this one here, on a little Morphe brush. And I'm going to lay this down right in the middle. I don't know why. My The first thought that pops into my head when I see this shade is juicy. <laughs> it's just so pigmented, and I love this color. It reminds me of, like, a blue raspberry. Like, the candy blue raspberry, you know? So I'm laying this down right in between that those two purples. I am going to be going into the Blend Buddy palette for the purple blend, so I'm just going to finish off my blue. I'm going to take shade Palace of Versailles. Palace, Palace of Versailles? Somebody commented it. I don't remember, but shout out to you for helping me out. I'm going to take that same brush with this light blue shade to start blending this out. Palace of Versailles. I think that's how I want to say it. So this is genuinely how light the palette goes. Like, this is the lightest shade in the palette, besides this one. So, this is where the Blend Buddy palette is going to save the day. 
I'm going to take shade I'm Fine, this pastel blue, on a fluffy brush. This is a Jessup brush, by the way. To complete this blue blend. After I lay all my colors down, I'll go back and re-intensify everything. I'm just laying everything down, first of all. I seen Blend Bunny changed her logo. It's it's time. I know she said she's not launching a new palette until like March, I want to say. Um, so I'm really excited to see what Blend Bunny's going to be launching coming soon. I'm assuming it's going to come probably sometime like Fe sometime this February. I'm going to take shade Frills and Thrills on this little Jessup Beauty brush. Just this kind of like small pencil blending brush. So I could really get in this inner corner to start blending that deeper purple out. And then I'm going to take a fluffy wet mild brush with shade dopamine. And that is going to complete our blend. So now I'm just going to go back and forth, like I said, between all of my colors. Make sure nothing got lost in the sauce. I love how pigmented these pastels are. Like they're not like powdery and like they don't buff away. They genuinely have pigmentation to them, which I think is so important when it comes to pastels. And it's something that's very hard to achieve from the feel like pastels that I, I've seen get around. This formula is really good. Now that I am happy with the blend, I am not going to cut the crease or anything. I'm just going to take some of my unearthly glimmer grass, put some right in the center of that lid. And then I'm taking shade Blue de France, I want to say, which is this beautiful purple and blue. Let me see if I can get the shift. It's kind of hard for me to get. There it is. There it is. You see that? Okay. And I'm just going to pop this right on the lid. Wait until you guys see the up close. How freaking trippy this is. And then the final touch to this was I did a wing. I want to, I want it to be a winged liner grilly today. So I'm taking the Blend Bunny gel liner and this little Jessup Beauty angled brush. This is a brown liner brush, but I'm going to use it for my wing liner today. And then I'm taking the Lily Lashes in the style Ritzy. I wanted something subtle because I really want you to be able to see that duochrome shift on the lid. So yeah. Oops, oops, oops. They are in fact not symmetrical, but it's okay. Here is what the eyes look like so far. <clears throat> Where'd my voice go, girl? I'm gonna start by taking the makeup by Mario. Soft Sculpt Contour Stick. This does have a brush. It's actually not a bad brush. So I'm just going to use her. I'm going to be taking the HMB Soft Focus Airbrush Concealer. And then I'm going to take the Pink Honey Angel Cake Corrector. I don't think you can get these anymore. I think they're like gone, gone, which is so sad because you guys know I really like this formula. I'm not going to do under blushing today. Um, because I'm going with a very light blush, so I'm just going to go ahead and blend my concealer out. I'm going to be taking the Be Perfect Chroma Cover Foundation today. Um, so this is a bit, this is a bit dark. It's kind of dark and pinky. I'm just going to take a little bit of this LA Girl Pigment the white to just lighten it up and then just take my brush and blend 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 i'm 
I wanted to take two blushes today. I'm going to be taking this Jaclyn one. It's discontinued, but I love this formula. Um, this is in the shade um, Empress. And then I'm going to take the P. Louise Cheek of It in the shade Legally Pink. This very, very pastel pink. Let me actually put this in the back of my hand. Legally Pink. So pretty. So... I still do want to go over kind of everything with a sponge um, before I set. Just make sure that there's no streaks or anything like that. So I'm just going to blend this right in. And then I'll go out over everything with my sponge. And then I'm going to go right over top of that darker pink with Legally Pink. For setting my face today, I'm going to be taking the um, CIT London Everyday Vacay Coconut Setting Powder and the Bare Mineral Mineral Veil Powder. Um, I feel like I've had this CIT London one forever, but because like I'm, I rotate through all of my powders, I just like, like, it's not used up yet. I want to make sure that this is set super good because after I'm done filming here, um, I'm actually going over to my mom's job. She bought my kiddos new beds for their birthdays are coming up. And so I'm going to go pick those up. And I want to make sure that, you know, this makeup don't budge while I'm moving those beds. <laughs> I haven't put the bare mineral powder on yet because I want to do that after I do my powder blush. I haven't used this in a while. And, you know, I was like thinking about it. The LMR Cosmetic Complexion Trio. This is in the shade Fair. This... I've had this for the longest time and it is genuinely such a nice formula. Where's my... I'm just going to take these two shades mixed together. For my blush, I'm taking the Juvia's Place Brush Blush Duo, shade Volume 4. Tell me the ones that I picked, like the creams, aren't this exactly. I'm actually going to start by taking the lighter pink first and then just a smidgy wedgy of the darker pink closer to like the perimeter of my face just for like some dimension right here now for my bare mineral powder this is like a pink powder so I'm going to set my face with the ABH Dewy Set. For my highlighter today, I'm going to be taking this um, Kaleidos. This is the um, shade Moon Cruiser, which is, it's like blue and purple. It's like perfect. She's cute. I'm definitely a gloss girly, but I need my lipstick to stay on. So matte. I like it. I went in with the Nobby Lip Pencil, the shade Brown Cafe. If you guys don't know, you can buy these lip pencils. They're very long. Like I've used a lot of this one. Um, I have them. I'll often link it. Um, I typically link these pencils with my like Amazon favorites. It's not a storefront. I don't get like commission or anything off of it. It's just kind of like my Amazon favorites. Um, this is a pack of 50 for 25, I believe. Such a great deal. They're such good lip pencils, um, especially for like the price and they're so long and there's so many colors. So these are the lip pencils you guys always see me use. Um, I always link them in all of my videos to Amazon because that's where I bought them from was Amazon. Um, and then I just went in the center with the Huda Beauty liquid matte in the shade Wifey. Oops. I keep dropping everything. So here is the completed look. I am genuinely so obsessed with the way that the eyes came out. It's giving the best of both worlds and I'm so here for it. Um, I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Definitely don't forget to like and subscribe if you like me and if you like my content. Without further ado, we're going to go out on ahead. Roll the clip. <laughs> 